Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Celerity Esports CL1. This is round six at Suzuka in Japan. I'm your host, Liam, also known as Hutchie311. Uh, apologies for the voice tonight. I have got coronavirus, but I will do my very best first rodeo on my own. But tonight we have 11 races on the field, and it looks like a couple have getting going already. Chais is our current leader in CL1. He had an off week last week in Austria. Uh, actually got a DNF, which is unlike him. He has been absolutely dominant this year so far. I think he was on 98 points after four races. As Dylan alluded to earlier this season, I don't think he'll be here next year because he is, he's literally that good. He is that good. But um, he's out nice and early in the house today, warming those tyres up. I suspect he'll be very good today. Got a couple of the guys on track. We've got Milo over in the Williams. We've got uh, Sela Justin in the, um, I believe that's a Ferrari. It is indeed. Celerity equals. Also come out last race. He uh, had a DNF in Austria. He's in the Alfa Tauri. Twan Grosjean in the Ferrari. Currently in the S's on his outlap. Milan, who's uh, stepped up from CL1. He had a good race last, yesterday, last night as well. And then power's still in the pits. So we might as well stay on board with uh, Tice. He's just coming through to start a lap now. So let's see what he can do as a banker lap. Opens up DRS. Really tricky corner is this right hander. Got to keep the apex right. There it is. Goes nice and wide. Swings it in. Gets on the power nice and early. In fifth gear he's taken that into the S's really tricky section this you don't really want to be kissing them curbs depending on your setup but Tice looks like he's going well already as we've already got a yellow flag in sector 3 I think everybody's still on track which is good so Tice comes out of sector 1 so 32-2 oh it's just gone wide there's an invalidation already so just shows you it's an old school circuit it's Suzuka it's very lethal a lot of DNFs yesterday and um Hopefully the quality on, on offer tonight, there won't be as many, but it is a tough circuit. Make a little mistake and it's it's lap over. It could even be race over. We'll jump on board with Milo. Just coming out of the S's onto Dunlop Curve. Nice and early on the power there. He's actually on the mediums there, which is quite interesting. He goes wide as well, but that I think is still a valid lap. It looked very, very wide to me. But Milo will carry on here in the Williams. Great car. I'm a little bit biased myself, but into the hairpin. Takes up nice. I'll actually ride on board with him. Into Spoon Corner. Really tricky corner. You want to carry as much speed as possible. It's all about the exit on here. Celebrity equals already on a, a P1 on a 129 dead. That's a fantastic bank lap. And see how just in there, 28.9. Some good times already. Already eclipsing what we saw last night, I believe. Takes this last chicane at Casillo Triangle quite well at this Milo. Here he comes in the mediums. It's a 129.7. That's not going to be competitive. It could, ironically, there still be a top 10 though with only 11 races on tonight. Jump on board for the last bit of Kyle in the Mercedes. Still a great looking car. It's the last time we're going to see that Mercedes in the black, but I do like it. Into Casio Triangle. Takes that quite nicely. Gets on the power quite early. Quite easy to lose the back end there. Gets nice and tight against the line. It's a 129 dead. Some really tight times already there at the top. Just a temp off the lead. Just jumping on board with Tice. I don't know if he's on a... I think he is on a hot lap, actually. He has purple sector too, so this is interesting. I think he's stayed out on them tyres and just gone for it. Comes out of Cassio Triangle. Let's see what Tice can do. Our current CL1 leader. Oh, he smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Never in doubt. 128.4. That's going to take some beating already. 
going to take some real beating. Gets nicely out of the way there for, um, I think it's one of the eight Alpha Tyres. It's Pipe Tech. Let's jump on board with Pipey. I think he's on an outlap. An absolute steward of uh, celerity. Absolute fantastic guy. Been with us since the start. Re great racer. Really courteous. You know, it's great to see him even competing in CL1. Who else is on a lap for us? Yeah, if anybody's watching, feel free to comment on the touch screen. Stream. I see Sneaky Tom said, "Damn, how did we manage to get Crofty as a commentator?" Oof. I won't put myself in that sort of category, but I'll give it my best shot. Might just be my English accent, Tom. You never know. I can assure you it's not a good accent. It's uh, from the Yorkshire region. <laughs> Quite a working class region in uh, in the UK. Just on board with Milan currently. It's purple sector one. That's a great sector one from Milan in the Alpha. Coming up to the hairpin. It's a valid lap. Got a bit of traffic in front. Hopefully T-Mac stays out of the way. He does. Great racer is T-Mac. Keeps it in fourth round that hairpin. That's a very interesting way to do it. But he carried so much speed into Spoon. Do love this corner. It's thrown a car. It's, it's an absolute quality corner to see what an F1 car can do. We're doing 100, 120 miles an hour around there. It was just touch wide, but it's still valid. That's a purple sector two as well from Milan. This could be brilliant. Into Casino. Cassio Triangle, a bit of oversteer, not quite clipped the apex, keeps it inside early on the power, opens up the DRS, it's a 28.9, it puts in P2, it's a very, very good lap, but such is the quality of size on a 28.4, I don't think anybody else is going to touch that, we've almost got two extra leagues in this league, but good lap from Milan. Looks like Justin's coming out for his second lap, lap. Kyle's just popped in. Milo on an outlap. That was his twan. Pipey in the garage. Yeah, this is interesting. Poseidon then. Not spoke about much about Poseidon. He's had a, an interesting season so far. He came back down to CL2 and he absolutely smashed it, ladies and gentlemen. Such a fast racer. Especially over one lap pace. You know, I think one of his laps was quicker in CL2 than the CL1 time. So he's been promoted back into CL1. Really interested to see how he gets on this season. You know, there's absolutely no doubt about his one lap pace. Just needs to work on that racing etiquette, that racing sort of consistency, but he'll get there. He's got some absolute quality in him. But he's come out on the mediums with nine minutes left. I mean, it's clearly a strategy issue. With only 11 races, he's technically only got to finish in the top 10 and starting on mediums, so might not be a bad shout, but let's keep an eye on him. Got um, a yellow flag in sector one. It looks like Tice is on mediums. Pass. <laughs> we'll move on. <laughs> Mike and Kyle still in the pits, but everybody and Milan in the pits, but everybody else out on track. Just as I say that, commentator's curse. Out comes uh, Mikey Boy. So, I'm going to stick on board with Justin here. It was the early pole setter. I think it's just in the 129s, but he's got some real good paces, Justin. He's a real good uh, guy in the celerity. He's one of the stewards as well, so we know him quite well. He's a fair guy. Let's see what he can do here on this outlap. Oh, he jumps that curb. He must have some good suspension settings on that. I did not dare touch that last night. So, keeps that in fifth nice. It's slightly wide there, but into Dunlop. It's all about getting the pace and the exit. He's done that well, and that car looks solid. So, it's, what's his first sector? He's just half a ten foot up on his first sector, but it's purple. Which is great. Oh, he's took Degna too very well over that curb. Here he comes into the hairpin. What can he do? Hard on the brakes. Down into second. Nice and tight. Up early into third. That's nice. Keep it nice and steady. We've got a yellow flag in front of him. It shouldn't be a problem. I think it's the other Ferrari driver. We've also got a slow Haas. Hopefully it's not going to be in his way. And that's on, just out of the way from Tice. I'm not sure what he's doing, by the way. But we'll let him off. 
<laughs> nice of them through spoon. Interesting to see what people do with the setups here. You know, do you go high wing for the S's? Do you go low wing to get some straight line speed? Not many places to overtake. But here comes Justin. Nicely cut on both. Oh, that's right on the limit on the last apex there. Nice and tight. Let's see what he's going to come across from. And he's just improved. He's into P2. It's a 28.8. That's a solid lap. I'm just jumping on with Tice again. He's... I'm not sure what he's doing. He's warming up a medium set of tyres here. Surely he can't beat a 28.4 on mediums. You know what? The intrigue in me is just going to stay on board. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm going to call it early here, ladies and gentlemen. If he beats this on a set of mediums, the guy's a genius. Absolute genius. slightly wide on that second S it just upsets the rhythm of the car if you get slightly out you lose speed it just feels horrible as well because he can't really get it back until the end but he's taking Dunlop there that hard left very well so let's see what the sector one time's looking like oh my goodness he's only 14 thousandths off his best time surely not surely not Hairpin nice and tight early into third, straight on that throttle, that's good. A little twitch of oversteer on the exit, but it's still going on. Keeps it to the right, ready for spoon. Doesn't go up to eighth there, that's interesting. I mean, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's see what the Sector 2 time's looking like. <laughs> it's 22 thousand so no way no way Casio triangle what are you gonna do oh he's cut that beautifully no no way here he comes DRS oh he's half a tenth down I mean unbelievable that by ties unbelievable on the set of mediums I mean this guy is, you know, maybe he's one to look out for in the future. He's got such speed, such talent. I mean, that's an incredible lap, even though it's not valid. <laughs> I do apologise, I got uh, a bit waylaid there. But, um, yeah, let's just have a quick look down the order. Just under five minutes to go here at Suzuka. Celerity equals on P2 with a 128.6. Great lap. Justin, who we saw, 28.8. Milan. CL2 driver is at 28.9. T Mike there, 28.92. He's just currently coming through. Looks like he's had a mistake, so he's two and a half seconds off. And he's come off the racing line as well. Twan drivers in the garage on the 28.9. So six drivers into the 28s, which is very, very respectable. Uh, we've also got Milo on a 29 dead. A Kai on as well, a thousandth off there in the Mercedes on a uh, 29.074. Pipe Tech is a 130.2. Poseidon and Manpower yet to set a lap. Both on outlap, so crucial time for these two guys. I think we'll stick with Manpower. It's just warming up on his outlap. Not many other cars on track at the minute, just a total of four. Just under four minutes left, so I suspect that we're going to get a bit of an influx on track very, very soon for the last run. Yellow flag in sector two with a Hass, I believe, and it's Poseidon. I think Poseidon's lost it. Yeah, Poseidon's out, so that's unfortunate for him. So if Manpower sets the time, Poseidon will be on P11 with a free set of tyres. A bit unlucky there for Poseidon. That was on an outlap as well, so I don't know what he's done. It looked like around Spoon. Very unfortunate, because Poseidon's got such good one-lap pace. He'll be very disappointed with that. be very intriguing how the guys are going to take this race with only 11 guys racing you know points are pretty much guaranteed here so i'd be interested to see how much sort of risk they're going to take you know 
guarantee points in CL1. I mean, to me, that's thank you very much. Manpower currently into the apex. Keeps in third. Interesting. We've got another yellow flag in sector one. It looks like Mercedes. I think Kyle's had a... Yes, Kyle's had a big incident. He's lost his wing. He's not out, but I do think that's the end of his quali. Two minutes left. He's not going to get back round and get back out. So, it's unlucky for Kyle. Currently P8 at the minute as a 129.0. Let's see what Manpower can do. Takes that nicely. It's valid. Goes up to P5. P4 and P5 currently for the Alphas. That's uh, it's a solid lap. It's a 28.9. Cannot complain about that one bit. So here comes the influx of cars and the traffic. You know, look at this. You've got four cars around there. Quite close together heading up to Spoon. A minute and a half left. So these guys can sort themselves out. Make sure they don't get in each other's way. Pike Tep's just started his lap, so we'll stay on board with him for half a lap, see how he gets on. Nicely held. So there's a 130.2 at the minute, is Pipe Tech. I'm sure he'll want to improve on that, but I think it's fair to say he prefers race pace rather than qualifying pace. Some of the other guys look like they're um, currently coming around to start their hot laps as well, but let's see what Pipe Tech's first sector is looking like. It's already a 10 foot, so that's a solid first sector from Pipey. Just because wide there, he's lost it! Oh, lucky Pipey, commentator's curse. I do apologise, my friend. Good luck in the race. Justin, currently 10 foot, but coming towards the end of the S's. You've got a Williams not far behind. There's that team Ike, I believe. Shouldn't be holding him up too much. Oh, he's 6,000 down as Justin. You know, he's already done a 28.8. That's solid. But at the minute, it, he's stuck in P3. I've just seen Kyle leave the session there. I hope he's not gone for good. You know, it's only qualifying Kyle. He's P9. Hope, hopefully he'll come back in very soon. Justin coming out of spoon there. Didn't look as hooked up as it did on the lap before. Let's see where sector two is looking like. Not sure Mike will be getting the slipstream there, but he's not a million miles off. Oh, it's three times up as Justin. Ignore what I'm saying, guys. This is looking very good for a solid P2. Takes Casio triangle chicane really nice early on the power. Nice and hooked up early. It's a 28.6, so he's just outside the top two. That's a solid lap. Team I can prove to 28.8. Currently P4. Milo. Wow, what a lap in the other Williams. A 28.6. But <laughs> let's save the best till last, guys. The Magician. So close on the mediums. Here he comes on the softs, I think, just to show us what's what. Track evolution here is amazingly good, so let's have a look. Oh! Wow! Wow. If you can't see that, that is a 127.7. I mean, that deserves the Hutchie clap. The Hutchie clap right there for Tice. I mean, that is unreal. One guy left on track, which is Twan. I don't think he's going to improve. He's on two minutes in a minute, so I think we're done, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be careful there, Twan. Be careful. Yeah, okay. Well, that went very fast. Hope you enjoyed it. I mean, that lap, yeah. It's had the hutchy clap. What more do you want? <laughs> there he is at the top. Eight tenths quicker than Milan, who sneaked into P2. I, I missed that. Apologies, Milan. That's superb. 28.6 for Milan. Milo in the Williams is a P3. Celebrity equals P4 in the Alfa Tauri. Justin slipped down to P5 in the Ferrari. T Mike in the other Williams, a P6. That's uh, it's good for Williams, that P3 and P6. Hopefully, some good constructors points on offer. And wow, that disappeared fast. I do apologise.
just to finish off that top 10, I believe Manpower was P7, Twan Jojon was P8, Kyle in the Mercedes was P9, Pipey was P10 in the Alpha Tauri because he set a time, and Poseidon didn't set a time when we saw him lose it on his outlap there in the Haas is P11. Not much going on on the uh, Twitch chat at the minute, so if you're watching, listening, whatever you're doing in the world on a Friday night, put a comment in there. Keep me busy, please. As we hit the formation lap. Someone jumped it there quite well, or someone's not moving. Yeah, I've not talked too much about pit strategy here. Um, I think with no safety cars, you're looking... I think these guys can do soft, medium. It's tight, but I think these guys are good enough to keep that going. Um, I didn't find much difference between the mediums and the hards. The hards are much more durable. Probably take three laps to get uh, up to temperature. But I suspect it. if there's no safety cars, it's a definite one-stop strategy here at Suzuka. 27 laps. You're looking sort of lap 8 to 10 on these softs. And then you're looking sort of, you know, I'd get on the mediums, I'll get on the um, on the hard tyre. Just double check the tyres. So Poseidon in P11 is starting on the mediums. Everybody else is on the mandatory softs. So that's interesting. An early safety car could help Poseidon here. But, you know, I alluded to it earlier. I think these guys have just got to be patient. Let's see some good racing. There's not many overtaking spots. You know, you've got DRS on the main straight. That's your best opportunity. You've got the spoon. If you've got a great exit out of hairpin, you can maybe sling one up the inside. You know, apart from that, maybe just where Fice is now, you know, just coming into this chicane. After that, you know, you want to just stick back in the S's. It's so dangerous. So, so dangerous. So, just intrigued to see how these guys are going to take this race. It's a shame there's not many more people on the grid tonight, but. I'm sure everybody's busy, and hopefully we'll have a full grid in Baku next week. But, um, yeah, if you're on the Twitch, let me know who your podium's going to be. I mean, it's a no-brainer for me who's going to win this one. <laughs> but um, commentator's curse, maybe, but I'm going to go for a, a Tice win. I'm going to go for a Justin P2. And I'm going to throw it out there. Poseidon is going to come up to p Four. Sorry to equals will get the other podium spot is my prediction. Apologies all guys because I am useless at predictions but um, let's see how we get on as we all line up now. Hopefully we'll get this no sinking issues, no lagging issues from our friends at Codemasters. I can hear the lights, I can't see them. There they go. Looks like a solid start from everybody. Tice gets away really well. We've got someone on the inside, Celebrity Ecos, but it looks like a solid start. P2 and P3 look close. Milo around the outside. But Milan holds it for P2. Not many position changes there. Looks like Poseidon's gained a couple of spots, and Pike is currently back down in P11. Not much change at all, as you'd expect now. You know, there's only really that first corner to actually make an overtake on. It's all about settling in now. The Urs doesn't sort of fill up very well around here, so we've just got to be careful. Poseidon's out! Poseidon's out! It's a VSC! First lap, first sector, Poseidon. Unlucky on the mediums. They might not just have warmed up quick enough, but that's really unlucky, mate. It's really unlucky. Thankfully just a VSC, so we'll be up and running in sort of half a lap's time, but um, not good for Haas and the constructors, but I'm sure Poseidon will be back next week with a bit of practice and uh, get right back up there. So, as you were, ladies and gentlemen, 10 runners in CL1. You're guaranteed a point if you finish, boys. Easy, right?
you know, even under that BSC, Tice has already pulled nearly a second, so that's, uh, I think this guy's just dominant for this league, he really is. No point really looking at the intervals here under the VSC. I suspect it'll be ending very soon. We've still got a yellow track. Predictive pit strategy comes up on top. You know, I, I do suspect it's one stop. You know, even with this VSC, you've gained sort of a lap on these softs. You know, that just... It puts you more towards a soft medium strategy more than anything. As we're back underway here in, in Suzuka... Milo slipped back already from uh, Milan. He's already a second out of that, so that's interesting. He's, he's sort of a big loser at the minute in terms of the VSC. Bit of a train behind him. Into the airpin. All relatively clean, not much, not many sort of battles going on at the minute. I think everybody just getting into the rhythm. Such a rhythm track, you know. One slight mistake, one kiss of the curb, and you could be off, and your race could be over. Oh, Milo with a bit of a slide there, and it's a lovely move up the inside from Celerity Equals, and Justin, I believe, is going to get round as well. So, bit of a mistake from Milo in the Williams. I don't think he's got any damage. So, yeah. Just unlucky, he's lost two positions there. He's back into P5. Just in front of his teammate, T Mike. Oof, just in lovely clip of the curb there and takes the, the cone with him. Tice has already pulled 1.6 seconds, so he's not going to get much commentary time, is Tice, unfortunately, because he is that good. <laughs> to the S's so um, just look in terms of from the leader you know the field is now seven and a half seconds split up I suspect that's going to get larger and larger the real battle you look like you've got a bit of a train between P4 and sort of P8 was a set to one yellow flag I think pipey has gone pipey has lost it it looks the exact same place as Poseidon that's Dunlop, isn't it, looking on the map? He's lost it in Dunlop. Really tough to, to keep it on the track there, but that's really unlucky from Pipey. You know, he's such a good guy, such a good racer. Bit of a shame to see him drop out. Message from Kyle on the uh, on the Discord as well, saying his, his wheel fell off. I can't race anymore. Well... Is he AI'd? It looks like he's ghosted back there, so... Maybe there's only eight sort of cars in as we're already up and running. That VSC wasn't long at all. So Twan makes the move upside men power. That was a lovely move. Is men going to make a move back? No, nope, holds off. I think that's all well and good. Meanwhile, Celerity equals. And Justin, still P3 and P4 respectively. So it's as you were up there. Yep, so I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, we have got an eight-car race now on lap four of the Suzuka sort of Grand Prix. Which is a bit of a shame. Such a classic old-school circuit. Doesn't always bode for the best racing. But yeah, it's good fun. It's great to drive. You're so on edge. All, all the time you're on edge. So... Uh, Tice pulls a two second gap already. Kyle making a comment on the uh, on the Twitch say I do better myself without racing. I'm not sure about that Kyle. You are a very good racer especially in this tier so don't put yourself down buddy. Get that wheel fixed. Get up and running for next week. Be good to see you up there in the points for the Mercedes again. Williams running P5 and P6. Mike has just slipped back out of DRS when it eventually comes online. You can see him using the ears there, wanting to get back in there, but I don't think he is. 1.2 seconds off, so that's a bit of a shame. 
Meanwhile, Menpower's trying to get closer up, to, up behind Twan. Don't think he's getting that. Looks like it's the closest sort of interval on track. It is a bummer, Kyle. Just seen your comment again on the Twitch. Get it sorted, mate. Have a good week of practice. Enjoy it. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> Keeping an eye here on Milo. Currently P5, half a second off Justin. Just a quick shout out to Milan as well. He's only three seconds off ties, but he's gained 1.4 seconds in front of Celerity Equals. So, solid racing so far from Milan, and this is looking like an assured drive already. Let's race on board for a lap or two. I'll try and keep an eye out on what's going on elsewhere, but um, yeah, there's not a great deal going on in terms of battles. Should have DRS online this lap, so I'm intrigued to see what people do on the train. I mean, in terms of this train we're currently watching, Slurry to equals in P3, he's not going to have the DRS. So you've got Justin behind him and Milo. I don't know what's... Milo seems to be glitching there. I hope his internet's okay. Yeah, Justin's lined it celerity up very nicely here. This will be interesting to see if he goes for it straight away. Let's watch it from the front. You can just see that envelope, that rear wing opening up, and look at the overspeed already. Celerity equals thinks he's done it. He's not using his ears, but here comes Justin. Just sticking behind. But, oh, he's nipped up the inside. Very nice. That's a late move, but I don't think he's got it done. Yep, just backs out. That's that's good racing. That is solid racing there from the pair of them. Celerity equals for they had it all covered, and then the overspeed of Justin into that first corner, slug it up the inside, but Celerity equals did not panic. Kept it in there. He had the inside for the next S, and Justin very very wisely just backed off. That looks like it could have been a warning there as well. So that's something to keep an eye out for. No penalties so far in this race. Into first. Interesting move. Interesting. Slurity is trying. Look at him. He's using that Urz. He's trying to get inside that one second gap to Milan in front. This is critical for his race. He needs that DRS to, to sort of defend off Justin and the other guys behind him. So it's currently, it's bang on that one second mark. Milan, he's using his ears as well now. Look, he's pulling away. This is good race management from the pair of them. And I think Milan's done enough. He's still using that ears. He doesn't need to. He's 1.1. Yep, there you go. Well done, Milan. So can Justin line up the move here on Celerity Equals? It's not the quickest exit, has to be said. Straight on the ears, though. On the DRS. That is too far back, surely. It's seven temps. Yeah, he's already off the ears, so the overspeed will tighten him up a bit, but he's nowhere near. Just a quick comment on the stream there from Slurry Turf, I think that's Dylan. What happened to Pipe and Poseidon? It was unfortunate for both of them, Dylan. So, Poseidon lost it on lap one at Dunlop. Didn't see it on the stream, unfortunately, but Dunlop's this corner we're at now. Um. He started on the medium, so whether them tyres weren't warm enough, I'm not so sure. And then, unfortunately, Pipey did it on lap three, uh, just as the race got back on the way. Same corner, again, didn't quite catch it on the stream, but really unlucky for both of them. So, And Kyle's not in the race neither, so we're down to sort of an eight-car race. As I've clearly missed something with Menpower here. He's already on the hards. Don't know whether he had damage, but he's pitted. He's on the hards. Is he going for a strong undercut? I don't know now. Interesting. This man. Very apt. Look at the racetrack. <laughs> no other cars in sight. Was Menpower? I think Menpower's had an incident. He has. Them hards. I did. I did mention earlier. They take a while to warm up. You've just got to be careful. So you know, a good 23 seconds off the pace. He needs a long stint of 20 laps to see if he can get back into it. But it uh, doesn't look like he's got damage. No, I can't see any damage there on his wing, so keep it going, mate. Let's see what you're doing. Meanwhile, Slurity equals. He's got inside that magic one-second window. 
makes it interesting now the pressure is going to be back on Milan here who you know has been coasting along you know comfortable P2 now it's going to be under pressure on them softs eight lap old softs we're going to be talking pit stops in the next lap or two see if he can handle that pressure I'm sure he can Yeah, a bit of a train here now. So it's P2, Milan, P3, Celerity, P4, Justin, P5, Milo. And then Mike is just struggling to keep inside that one second gap, and he's got Twan right behind him as well now. We'll stick with Celerity, though, because he's right on the on the gearbox of Milan. He's lining him up here. Let's check hers. 29%. 71 for Milan. Oh, Equals is gone. No! What's gone on there? What has happened? It's out of spoon. Has he just gotten the power too soon? And oh no. Oh dear. It's full safety car. I mean, that is unlucky for Celerity. He was looking, you know, like he was jumping on for P2 there. He was lining that move up quite nicely, but inevitably everyone's diving into the pits. Not surprisingly, I don't think there's going to be one person who doesn't pit, apart from the AI maybe of Kyle. Good news for them though. Can Mem get back into it? Puts him right back on there. He's already on the hards, but I don't think it's going to make much difference. Keep an eye on the tyres then. This is interesting. The man, the myth, the legend. Goes on mediums. Milan on hards. Justin on mediums. Milo on hards. Swan on mediums, Mike on mediums, <laughs> the AI of Kyle on hards, and Mem is pitted again. He must have had damage. No, nope, he's going on medium. So, yeah, I like that. Why not? You're gonna get up to the up to the train anyway. So, why not put yourself on that stronger tire? It's a free pit stop. Interesting to keep an eye on that. So he's he's P7 at the minute. Because let's forget about Kyle. Interesting. So I wonder what these guys are thinking. You know, Milan sat there on hards. He's got some medium runners behind him. Has he made the right call? My only advice to these guys is, you know, these tyres get really cold, especially after a safety car period. Don't push it early on. You cannot afford a DNF now. You've got a golden opportunity for a guaranteed top seven finish in CL1 keep it on track boys it's easy sat here drinking a beer it's so easy credit to Milan though you know such a solid racer you know it's been you know, it was my favourite for um CL2 at the start of this season and I don't think he's going to be a million miles off you know it was P6 in round 4 we're just waiting for an update on, at the minute on the discord but he's such a strong racer you know his, his qualifying pace is always there his racing style is pretty good doesn't make that many mistakes you know he's going to be right up there I think it's very competitive in CL2 so well worth a watch on Thursday nights everybody who's watching it's very competitive, very gentlemanly like. Great set of guys in there, you know. Friends off the track and on the track as well, so it's great to see. I think the safety car should be in at the end of this lap. We're just in, coming up to the end of sector one. Everybody's in a line, so there's absolutely no reason why we're not going to get up and running. So, um, yeah, just to run the round, it's Tyson P1, Milan P2, Justin P3, Milo P4, Twan P5, Mike, T Mike T P6, 
Kyle, remember his AI. I don't think he's racing, so he's not going to count. And Mem um, down at the back. No penalties to um, to report. I'll have a quick look on the race director, actually. We'll have a sneak. See if anybody's got any warning. So, Tice hasn't, surprisingly. Milan is one warning off. Interesting to keep an eye on. Justin's got the one warning. Milo, zero. Twan's got one warning. T Max got one warning. Kyle's got none, obviously. It's AI. And Mem's got one warning. So, interesting for Milan. He's, he's on the edge, clearly. We mentioned about the pressure. He's going to feel it even more. Three second penalty. It's, it's massive. You don't want to be getting that. So shout out to T Mike. You know, my old uh, adversary in CL2. Such a strong racer. He's, you know, he, I think he got the Fanatec wheel and since then he's just flown. Um, had a great season with uh, Nicky Rizzles and, and co. And it was, it was such a good battle. Uh, got a podium last week in Austria. I think he got his P2. So he'll be looking to see if he can uh, cement that and get back, back up in the championship. Safe to car in this lap. Let's watch what uh, Tice does. Is he going to hold them back or is he going to go for it? Uh, he's, he's gone for it, obviously. Look at that. We had a yellow flag there. I'm not sure what about. This is interesting. To watch Twan and Milo. Oh, Milo slips and oh, <laughs> that's close. But he's tucked in perfectly behind Twan. That could have been disastrous. So, shout out to Ferrari P3 P4. Great for the constructors here. There's only uh, two teams with two cars, which is Ferrari and Williams. So, we don't talk about constructors much, but it's well worth mentioning. Unsurprisingly, Tice has already disappeared up the road. You know, I think we're racing in Japan this week. Tice is in Korea. He is that far ahead. Oh! Twam of a moment! Sticks on the racing line. Oh! And Milo right up the gearbox. He's lucky as there is Twam. It's a tough, tough spot as the hairpin. And yet, I'm surprised uh, Milo hasn't taken an opportunity of there. Into Spoon. These cars are twitchy. Look how twitchy they look. Get straight onto the ears. Both of them look. Mike's there waiting. He's he's benefited from the safety car as Mike. He's on the mediums and he's now within DRS. He can just sit back and wait for something to happen. He's got a teammate in front of him on the slower tyre. So it's yeah, I'm intrigued to see what he's going to do. Milo slightly wide. No DRS yet for another lap. So, I don't think we're going to see a move. This is the closest battle on track apart from Mem and Mike as well, which, yeah, nothing happening. We'll watch it from back here just to see if anybody has a moment in the S's. But bit of a train here already. Justin's just around that one second gap. He's just in it for Milan, so that's that's critical for podium positions up there. Twan's over a second behind his teammate, so yeah, he's he's at risk as Twan here in this little group. He needs that DRS. I don't think he's gonna get it though. So critical around a track like Suzuka, you know, it's it's limited in terms of where you can overtake. Very wide there from Mempower. That could have been a warning, actually. Just slipping back a bit too much there for my liking. We'll get on board with uh, T Mike. So I don't think there's DRS in this lap, but I think it gets enabled as Milo has a bit of a moment going into that Casio Triangle chicane. Is T Mike going to go for it here? I think they're racing. There's no team orders here at Williams. Oh! Just did he make contact? He lifted. There's, there's also a yellow flag. I think Menpower's lost it. Yeah, Menpower must have lost it in the chicane. But T Mike there, it just hit. It looked like he was just going to hit the back of Milo. Like I said, no team orders, but you know, 
one of them should have committed one way, one of them should have committed the other in my opinion there. But looks like no damage so we'll go again this lap and wait for the DRS. Justin struggling on the mediums to keep right inside that one second window. It's bouncing to and fro. Looks like he's going to do it. Yeah, he's using the ears. Look, he's using them to keep up with Milan. Interesting race strategy from Milan here. He knows he's not going to get the win with ties, but this is this is as good as a win. We've got another yellow flag in sector two and manpower. He's really struggling today. He's already made. Well, where's he going? He's already made a pit stop. I think for a wing early on. Oh, his tyres are, his tyres are shot. Be careful there, Mems. Don't lose it. But interesting, he's... Whoa, where's he going? He's got to keep it on track here, because he's, he's net P7. Oh, I don't know where he's going. That's an interesting lining spoon. More like a wooden spoon. T-Mike's just fell a little bit far back from his teammate here, so he just needs to get back into that rhythm and have another go and set it up. So we're already halfway through this, this race, ladies and gentlemen. So Tice nearly five seconds in front in a league of his own. Milan in P2. He's got CLR Justin in the Ferrari in P3 within DRS range now. You've got Twan who's just outside DRS range in the other Ferrari in P4. Takes Degna 2 very nicely there. P5 is Milo, straight on the ears, looking to the airpin. Let's just watch him do this hairpin. Ooh, lock-up, two lock-ups, interesting. Clearly doesn't use ABS, which is good to see. Straight on the ears, so he's on the hards though, so them hards sort of, they'll be slow for a couple of laps and then they should start getting better and better, so don't write Milo off here. And T-Mike, he'll be desperate, look at that gap, it's just over a second. Straight on the ears, look. Come on, give me some beans, please. Let me in that DRS. Let me in the party. He's just pulled it inside, look, I believe. Yeah, he's lucky as there is Mike. He's got it just. He's had to use all his battery power, but he's there in the end. And then power just. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I shouldn't give this air time, but. Yeah. Let's move on. Closest battle on track currently. This is P4 and P5. The Ferrari and the Williams. Take that back. Justin is just a touch inside that. So we'll, we'll ride on board here in P3 and P2. We've got another yellow flag in sector two, is that? Oh, Mem's, Mem's gone. Mem's gone. I hope that's not going to be a safety car. What's he done? What has he done? Uh, he's gone. Pass. I mean... I don't know why he was flooring it like he was. I mean, to me, it's it's a guaranteed P7. Just finish. You know, it's, it's points in the bag for nothing, really. <sighs> we'll move on till next week. Thankfully, no VSC, no safety car. We're lucky in that sense. Justin right on this gearbox of Milan. Can he get the traction? Looks like he can. Straight on the ears. Here comes the DRS. Here comes the overspeed. What's Milan going to do? Yeah, he's not defending. There's no need. He's got more ears. So Milan will just sit back here, charge his battery up. Just watch that curb. He does nicely. Justin now into P2. Did I predict that? I'll take credit anyway. It's a Dunlop, such a tricky curb. Yeah, it's bound. There's a little dip as you go into that Dunlop left-hander, and it's horrible. If you hit that at full throttle, it's game over. Degna 2, nicely done. A bit of oversteer there. Twan's in DRS range as well now, so he's wanting to get into this party. 
Twan fancies a podium here. This is could this be a Ferrari two three? They're after it. Have the Williams boys got anything to answer back to that? Come on, Williams boys, do it for Frank. No penalties so far. Lap 16, that's pretty good going. We'll ride on board with Twan. I think Milan's going to have a go at Justin, and Twan's going to have a go at Milan, but it's going to be a DRS train for Twan, so Twan just needs to be patient, I think. Let's see what Milan's going to do. He's not using his ears. Ooh, I don't think he's, I don't think he's going to make that. No, he's happy sitting back. Okay. It's probably sensible. He's saving that battery look. 67% battery. Justin's on 24. Twan's on 32. The Williams behind. Looks like it's struggling. Looks like it's very twitchy there from Milo. Let's just ride on board. It might be his internet. Into Dunlop in fifth, sixth. Yeah, that's good. Yes. What was I saying about penalties just in there? Three second penalty. So that would put him 8.2, 11.2, just in front of T Mike. That's how interesting that is. So it's P2 to P5 just for a couple of corner cuts. That's how important it is at this level. It's unlucky for Justin. See if it makes a, any difference at the end of the race. We've still got 10 laps to go. There's only six runners now, ladies and gentlemen, CO1. Bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Let's get on this battle. So it's P2 to P5, all within DRS range. So Milan held back last round. That looks like a cut there from Twan. Using the ears. Why are you using the ears when Milan's got DRS? Be patient. Milan's happy just following, I think. Milan's happy with the podium, surely. Well, he's net P2. Milan's in a great spot. As I just opened being number three. Good racing from these guys. Not seen that many mistakes from these guys. Pace is really good. To Degna 2, hops that nicely, gets that on early on the power, into the hairpin. Into Spoon, it's right on the gearbox now of Milan. Milan's still holding on though, that DRS range. Oh, is anybody else there? Who's that? Oh, hello. Welcome to the stream. I can hear you. Yep, yeah, and I'm sure the viewers can as well. Okay. <laughs> Didn't quite catch either of your crashes, but I did see the end result. So, unlucky guys, and good luck for next week. Oh! Justin and Milan! What has gone off there? We got distracted there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure I just saw a reset to track as well, but what happened there? Swan's gone up to P2, Milan's back down to P3, Milo P4, Justin's gone right to the back. I say the back is P6. But yeah, he must have made the mistake there in Sector 1, the S's, and he's took that wide as well. Has he got damage? Doesn't look like it. No. So it's unlucky for Justin. But Twan. Picking up the pieces as well as Milan and Milo.
Mikey boy desperate again to get in that DRS range. I think... Oh, I think he's just come out of it, look. Yeah, he's not quite going to make it. That's unlucky, Mike. You know, if you're not at that party, it's game over. Is he going to get DRS? He's not, look. No, unlucky, Mike. Milo, meanwhile, does. As does Milan. Look at the overspeed, but it's not enough road. We need a Mexico-style straight or a baku size straight there. It's not quite long enough here at Suzuka in Japan. Not mentioned the weather, have we, today? But um, no sign of rain with the look of things, which is all good. No drama this lap on the S's. Think, I, I do apologise for missing what happened with Justin there. He must have just lost it and had a moment. He's got no damage, you know, unlike Poseidon and Piper, who unfortunately lost it earlier. So he just needs to ride that home. You never know, there could be a late safety car. But he's net P6. It's not a bad result at the end of the day. Eight points, I believe, P6. Eight points in the title. Yeah, take it, move on. Milan just dabs on that ERS. A bit of a train here. Mike again, look. Oh, it's agonising. He's a tenth off that DRS train. His teammates on the hards as well. The hards should be crossing over now and getting slightly faster. So it's unlucky for Mike. Just stick at it, though, mate. Meanwhile, we'll watch uh, Milan's exit. No use of the ears. Interesting. He's saving that battery for an attack, is Milan. He's saving that for a late attack. It's great to see different lines on that on that first corner. Some people take it wide and get the exit. Some people hang it in there, keep the speed up for the apex, and then just let, let the car do what it does. And to Dunlop, we're twitching a bit there. I think that's um, Milan's internet. And the one pedal two, which is for Justin, is at the back of the grid at the minute in P6. We've not mentioned this guy, have we? Oh, he's used his ears, look. 20% ears left. Oof. Have I just come out at the wrong time? Or is he pushing? It's a rare mistake. It's 13 and a half seconds in front. I mean, that's impressive. I think he could drive this one-handed now and win the race. That's that's how dominant this guy's been today. But it only takes one second of laps in concentration. It's all over. So he's got five laps left to do. Meanwhile, Milan, Casio Triangle Chicane. Out he comes on the hards. Twan on the mediums. A bit of a twitch there from Milan. Gets the DRS. He's not attacking, though. I don't think he's going to be quick enough anyway. Interesting lines again, not as different as last lap. But Milan's staying here, isn't he? You know, you look at... Twan's trying to save his battery as well. These two are obviously just lining up for that last lap. They're settling in here. They've got a podium. Did a one second. Milo's hanging on like a bad smell. He's not going away. T-Mike's unlucky, he's just slipped back that little bit too much now as Mike, so he's going to have to settle for P5 with the looks of things. Still not a bad result for CL1. Not a great deal of activity on the Twitch stream and chat, so if you're, if you're there, if you're listening, be nice to see who's there and say hello. Milan's a lot closer here. Can he get the exit? In fifth. Nice. He's, he's going for it. He's going for it this lap. Let's see what he can do. 
Here comes the overspeed. Oh, he's leaving it late. He's going around the outside. Oh, and here comes Pat Swan on the inside. This is close. Milan's got the inside for the SR, has he? You know, he's backed out. Wow, great racing, you two. Great racing. Yeah, if I'm sat where Milo's sat right now, I'm rubbing my hands. I'm thinking, watch this. These two are going to knock each other off, and I'm going to have P2. I'll just wait there. Be patient, and I'll wait for it. But really patient from Milan. That was sort of five laps in the making. You could just tell, going to Casio Triangle, he was a lot closer. And he's using the airs here as well a bit. Milan's hungry here. Lap 23 of 27. He is hungry. Into Spoon Corner. He's, oh, he's just missed the apex a touch. So, yeah, he's a little bit further back than where he was last lap. But, yeah, they're straight on the Urs. So, Twam, 18, 17% Urs. Milan with 60. Still using it. I think he's ready for a, another move here. Can he get the exit? Straight up into fifth. Full throttle. He's on it. Oh, Twam! Twam! No! Twam! He's lost it! He's lost it! And it's a safety car! Oh no, Twan! Twan, Twan, Twan! Oh boy! Justin wisely straight into the pits. Free set of softs. Thank you very much. I'm back in this race, he says. It's just a shame about his three second penalty. But Twan! Oh dear, mate. Oh dear, the back end is very twitchy back there, but. Oh, it's lap 24. Oh, it's very late for a full safety car. I don't think we're going to get any DRS. I don't think anybody else is going to pit. Oh, I just feel for Twan. I really do. So late in the race, you know, almost a guaranteed podium as well. He must be kicking himself. So, we're going to have five finishes in CL1. For any uh, viewer out there, is that is that going to be a record? Bear in mind it's dry conditions. You know, that, that's surely going to be a record. It's not even a street circuit is Japan. You know, I'd expect it if we're at Monaco or, you know, Baku or Singapore. But that's uh, it's disappointing. Oh! Tice! Pitting! Is he going to be behind? Oh, and so does Milan. I'm very surprised at that. I am extremely surprised one of these guys hasn't gambled. They're all pitting. Why not take the gamble, guys? You could have had track position there and defended it with a full battery. No DRS. And Mike, yeah, he's got held up, but it doesn't really matter. I think he should still be in front of Justin. Yeah. But yeah, guys, roll, roll the dice. You know, I'm looking at you, Milo. I'm looking at you, Milan. Have a go. Stay out on the hards. What's the worst that can happen? You got a top five finish. No, sorry for me. That's that's poor. That Aston Martin safety car does look great. Sorry. A bit biased being British, but yeah. Looks fantastic. So we're on lap 25. All these guys have pitted now, so Justin thought he could have had a go, and obviously that's come away a bit. He's got a three second penalty as well. As he just decides to ride inside Kyle's Ghost. I think the safety car hopefully should be in this lap. We're going to get no DRS. I'll just have a quick look at warnings. Tyson's got the one. 
Milan's got two still, so he'll be worried. Milo's got just the one. T Mike has got just the one. And Justin obviously got that penalty. So interesting. Safety car is in this lap, so we'll ride on board with Tice, see if he backs the guys up, which it looks like he already is. Safety car disappears into the distance. Get some tyres warm. Hopefully no contact here. Bit of to and fro in, but he's allowed to do this up to now. After this corner, he can't do this, remember, so. A couple of burnouts. Interesting. Holding, 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 going. Yeah, pretty standard safety car start. He's done the trick there. Oh, 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 Milo! No! Milo! Wow! Lost it coming out of that chicane. Justin says, thank you very much. P4 for me. Wow. Williams, there's, there's no... What's happening here, guys? Four finishes on a CL1 race? Really? I should have raced tonight instead of commentated. As Kyle's... Has Kyle joined? What's happened to Kyle? Who knows? You're not getting any points, Kyle. Just don't get excited back there, mate. But while Milo on the restart... Yeah, just got a bit hot and there he goes, leaves the session. Unlucky, my friend. He must be kicking himself. Team Ike. Wow. Stays in it. Stays patient. Stays consistent. He's currently on the podium. Even if Justin takes him, he's not going to get three seconds on him. He's got a podium here. Wow. Milan has been Mr. P2 all race, so for me he fully deserves it. Bit of a snap of oversteer there coming out of that corner. Oh, he's going for it. Why not? There's no DRS, remember. Ties with the fastest lap of a 129.9. That's, that's up there with sort of CL2 qualifying pace, which is interesting. Last lap, ladies and gentlemen. So Tyce looks like he's got this one in the bag. Milan in P2. Great race from him. Not made too many mistakes. Stayed very patient from what I've seen all race. Team Ike. Absolute winner of chaos. Not seen him do many overtakes. He hasn't had to. He's just stayed in it. Stayed consistent. Thank you very much. I'll have a podium. And that'll be two podiums in two weeks for Mike. Fantastic job. Justin, unlucky with a three-second penalty. You can tell he's being punchy here. Look, he's still wanting to, on track, beat Mike. But you've got a P4. Through, you know, you've lost a wing, you've got a penalty. You know, it's not too bad. We'll stay on board, but I don't think anything's going to happen, I'll be honest, ladies and gentlemen. So, we'll jump across to our championship leader, our race leader. I believe this will be race win number five of six. Fantastic achievement. This guy's in a league of his own. It's Tice. Tice Van 0 to 001. Finishes with a 128.9 in the race. I mean, that is incredible. Fair play to the guy in the house. I mean, superb drive. Superb quality. Yeah. Uh, driver of the day definitely isn't Kyle, unless losing a wheel counts. But hey ho. Hope you enjoyed the stream, ladies and gentlemen. There'll be no podium chat, unfortunately, because I don't have these guys on um, on PS. So I do apologise up front. But Tyus with another win. Boy, you need a big trophy cabinet now, my friend. On to bigger and better things soon, I am sure. I think my driver of the day is Milan. Pops up from CL2. Looked solid all the way. Great quality. Been P2 most of the race. Managed it well. Kept patient. He's my driver of the day, if you take Tice out of it. So, yeah. P1. Tice.
what can I say? Milan, P2. Excellent. T Mike, stayed out of trouble, stayed consistent. Podium. Thank you very much. A lot to learn there, ladies and gentlemen. A lot to learn there from that drive. Justin, a bit of an up and down race, but finished P4. Kyle, as we know, he lost uh, his wheel in qualifying, so he's an AI in P5. Milo finished P6, but I don't know if he'll class classify or not. It was quite near the end, so we'll have to have a word with Dylan on that one. But yeah, four finishes on track in a CL1 race. It's disappointing, but exciting at the same time. So hope you enjoyed the stream, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Liam, also known as Hutchie 311. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. We'll see you next Friday for uh, Baku. Take care.